Hi guys, this is Joe from Takilobang. Welcome back to this channel. Nowadays, if you buy a flagship phone, it may not come with a charger. Most of the Android phones come with a USB-C charging port. However, not all USB-C chargers are the same. In my case, on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, it has to use a PD charger for the best results up to the maximum speed of 45 watts. Today, I'm going to show you other PD chargers that are touted to deliver up to 100 watts of power. However, you'll be surprised that the charging speed is different. So this is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And over here, we have various charger that has at least some PD equivalent of it. And on the center itself, this is the original charger from Samsung which I purchased during uh, when I bought in this uh, S23 Ultra. Today I'm going to test out if every single PD charger is the same or not. So let's get started. The first one is from Huawei, a 90 watt laptop charger. I've forgotten where I got the second one, still is a good charger. The third one is original Samsung 45 watt charger. The fourth one is the Zendur Passport 3 tra travel charger with 65 watt output. The fifth one is from Hyperjuice with 100 watt output. The sixth one is from Ego Exynos. It is a 240 watt output charger. Let me show you how long it takes using the original charger with original cable to charge the Galaxy S23 Ultra from 5% to 100%. So it started at 4% and let me turn off the screen and you see that it take 1 hour and 2 minutes to fully charge. So currently it's around 10 minutes and it is 28% charged with 52 minutes more to go so it is 60% full the battery is 60% charged at around 24 minutes or 25 minutes so the battery is now 95% full and it's 48 minutes into the charging cycle and I have about 13 minutes left before it's fully charged. Okay, 100% fully charged at 58 or oh, almost 59 minutes. The conclusion is that the estimated time is pretty accurate. So using it as an estimation, I will check all the charges to see if the total time taken to fully charge the S23 Ultra is the same as the original charger or not. So for the first one, I'll be using this, the Samsung original charger together with the original cable from Samsung. For subsequent tests, I'll be using the cables, but then I'll be using the different PD chargers. So let me plug it in to let you see. So if you are using the original charger or at least compatible charger, it will be showing that it has a super fast charging 2.0 and there will be a minutes for you to see when you'll be fully charged. So far, the timing has been quite accurate. So let me move on to the next one, which is the Huawei 90 watt charger. So let me plug it in. Super fast charging 2.0. So this is also no problem with a 90 watt charger from Huawei. Next, I'll be using this Zendo uh, travel adapter, which has a 65 watt, which has a 65 watt USB-C or PD PD output over here. Again, you can see that it's super fast charging 
but then look at it it is now one hour and one minute until full charge so just now it is showing 56 minutes now it is one hour and one minute so it doesn't mean that when you have a super fast charging 2.0 it will have the same kind of uh, charging speed so please take note of this next I will have this Hyperjuice this is a Kickstarter project so let me turn it on and let me charge it okay so you can see it's fast charging and it will take 1 hour and 30 minutes under full charge and for Hyperjuice right if you look at the spec it seems like it's able to support the PD charging uh, fast charging but in fact it cannot so you can see that it's jumped to 1 hour and 26 minutes right now next I have this is the Exino 240 watt so this is a very special charger because um, it has wattage indicator over here and it is it has a few 100 watt ports over here so I'll be using the cable provided by it calibrating okay let me first port super fast charging 54 minutes so 54 minutes to full charge and it's charging at 36 watt so this is good next I'll change it to another port also super fast charging also super fast charging and 54 minutes and finally the last port super fast charging 54 53 minutes so as you can see all these charger may have a different may have the same PD output some of them will not be able to perform the super charging so just take note so this is a quite a old charging port so it may not be able to charge up so fast let me see fast charging so you can see from here it is not going to be fast but surprisingly okay it's the same so at 1 hour and 24 minutes until full charge so this charger is similar to this hyperjuice I'm quite disappointed with hyperjuice because I was expecting it to be uh, fast super fast charging but in fact it's not okay here is something uh, this is one charger that I don't recommend uh, because it is super bulky and I think the quality is not so good it's a charge ASAP and it's a Kickstarter project I was quite disappointed with the quality as you can see from here with this adapter it is so fragile how am I going to use it for travel I'm not so sure so you can see this is the the kind of uh, quality that it has but anyway let me do the charge it so let me okay it, it can charge at super fast charging and 53 minutes so that means it's really coming up with 100 watts and this is another port also super fast charging 2.0 and 53 minutes until full okay I have another charger I promise this will be the last one this is the 100 watt from you green uh, this charger is quite popular but uh, because it's a review set I got it with a two pin plug if you are buying right now there's a three pin plug version but anyway it does its job so I just want to use it now let me plug it to the 100 watt which is I think is a C1 so super fast charging but you can see that it's 59 minutes until full that means 
even though it's providing at 100 watt or it has a 100 watt PD output, the charging is not as fast as as uh, the others or as the original. So 59 minutes. Let me put to the second port. So it's the same, 58 minutes until full. So, and the last port. This just fast charging. And this last port, uh, as expected, is not super fast charging. It will take one hour and two minutes. So that's it. Many different ports or many different chargers that I tried. And let me know your opinion on all these chargers because uh, I know that when you buy a handset right now, there won't be any charger provided. So what is your take on all these chargers?